Sneaker Con LA. It was this past weekend and it was absolutely fun. Not just at the event, but outside of the event. You see, the SneakerCon family was nice enough to have me and a few friends stay in a huge mansion together. And to be honest with you, I really didn't film too much at the actual mansion because I just wanted to live in the moment. I wanted to create memories with my friends, brainstorm ideas, and just enjoy life together rather than, hey, let's film this, hey, let's film that. For once, at a sneaker con with all my friends there, I just wanted to live in the moment and I do not regret it at all. We had so many good times. You were actually recording. All right. I feel like we didn't film as much because we were just enjoying the time. Yeah. But I still we Except Ben. Video. Ben literally filmed every minute of his life. <laughs> I, think he, I think he took his GoPro in the shower. You filmed every second of this weekend. Yeah, I had to, because just in case something interesting happened, I couldn't put it down. Facts. Just in case that I missed they haven't, mate. Well. Like That's what it is, fam. I want to address something before this episode starts. As you guys may remember, at last year's SneakerCon New York, towards the end of the year, I had announced that New York SneakerCon was going to be my last SneakerCon. Now, if you actually watch the video, I say that I'm not actually quitting SneakerCon entirely. The thing is, I, over the past three years, literally three years, I did not miss one SneakerCon up until the beginning of this year. I'm not not done with SneakerCon, if that makes sense. Actually, things are actually going in a completely different direction. I'm actually gonna be working with SneakerCon a lot more, but I'm just not gonna be going to all of them. SneakerCon has just officially launched the SneakerCon app. That's right, SneakerCon app is the new wave and I'm gonna link it down below and I need you guys to download it right now. Basically what it is, is the place where you can buy authentic, 100% authentic sneakers, used sneakers, brand new sneakers. It's gonna have a media feed. It's gonna be on another level. This is the future. It is the SneakerCon app. Why not have another basically sneaker store in your pocket. And with all that being said, let's go back to SneakerCon LA where this all started, all the great people we met, all the free stuff we give away, and then I'll check in with you guys after that because obviously we need to talk about something. Hit it. First of all, I gotta give a huge shout out to Chalkline because obviously this is a collaboration with them. So we're gonna be giving these away for free. So shout out to Chalkline. I'm gonna link their website down below. You know what I'm saying? We just wanna give back today. That's all, that's all that matters. I told you guys I'm gonna have something crazy on my feet today. I'm sure you've already seen it through Instagram, but basically Jordan Brand, you know, they blessed me and they've also blessed someone here in this line. He got games, 2018 version. Free merch, free shoes. Thanks to Jordan Brand, they gave me these to give away to one of you guys. You said you're a size 10? Yeah. All right, there you go, boss. Enjoy those. He got games. Yes, sir. Now we gotta give the free merch to everybody else and uh, start the day off. All right, there you go. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Dale? Yeah. Appreciate it, buddy. Hell yeah. Good job, man. Good. What's the biggest one we have? Uh, we have two eggs. I'm gonna go sell these. You're gonna sell them? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sell them. Alright, half off the... So we're trying to walk around right now. I ended the line because we gave out all the free merch. I never get to walk around in LA, ever. So, what up, yo? How you doing, boss? So now we try and walk around. I'm Where, like, when, oh, oh that, that, <laughs> wait, please tell me if you no, can get that. No, 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 no. Bro, that can't be posted anywhere. Bro, we're gonna be made into a meme. Bloopers. Bloopers. That's the funniest thing ever. We were both hella excited right now. Okay, guys, my newest recruit, he's playing on my team, but I need to do an IQ test on you. Sure. What is a crossover? Okay. Oh. So like when you go one way, you wanna like switch on. Wow! Bam! UK's biggest baller. You're about to break that. Take it off. The stitching, bro. The stitching's about to come off. You break it, you buy it. Oh, 
basement, man. Stop in the basement. Whoa. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. Nah. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. No. They ain't Yo, ready. Yo, freaking. They ain't ready. Uh. Snap out of the slow motion scene, man. It's like. It's oversaturated on YouTube. There's too many uh, slow motions. All, all that stuff. Okay, so as you guys can tell, SneakerCon was absolutely lit. One more time for the one time, for the two time, for the four, five, six, seven, eight thousand times. Download the SneakerCon app. It is in the description box of this video. Basically, I'm gonna talk about these shoes right here that I had on at SneakerCon day one. There's been a lot of controversy. There's been a lot of talk. There's been a lot of, lot of accusations. Let's backtrack. As you guys remember, I teased as you guys remember on my last video, I teased that Jordan Brand had sent me a pair of shoes to wear at SneakerCon. First things first, I would never say a company sent me something unless they really did. I would never make that up. Why would I say a company is sending me something when they're really not? Because if that was the case and the company found out I was doing that, they would cut me off immediately and they would just look at me like I'm a freaking idiot. So when I tell you guys that Jordan Brand sent me something, I'm telling you the truth. Because people were literally commenting on my picture saying, Jordan Brand did not send you those. Why are you fronting? This didn't, this is Like, bro, how much hate do you have in your life and jealousy that you think, like you're putting it in your brain that it's not possible? Like, if I say something, obviously it's true. It's, it's like, I don't know. It's just, um, I, I don't understand it, to be honest with you guys. But yes, Jordan Brand. They basically, my good people over at Jordan Brand, they hit me up a few days before SneakerCon and they said, hey, we want you to wear something fire. SneakerCon, you know what I'm saying? It's always about having the dopest kicks. It's about breaking necks. And they told me, do I want to have these shoes right here or did I want to have the Justin Timberlake Man on the Wood 3s, Man in the Woods 3s. Obviously, I chose to go with a shoe which is super, super rare, a shoe that will never come out, a shoe that was a player exclusive, and that is the UNC Jordan 3s. Now, uh, these were a gift from Jordan Brand. Usually when it comes to like Jordan Brand sending me or any other influencers, uh, shoes to unbox for you guys. It's a shoe that's usually coming out. But with these, they were just like, you know, it's sneaker con. We want you to break some necks. Take these. And I was like, say no more. You know, I got love for Jordan Brand. I'm always supporting Jordan Brand. I love the movement movement they have right now. And I was honored that they would even, you know, consider me to have this shoe because your boy is not a college basketball player. You know what I'm saying? Your boy didn't even make the high school team, but now I'm balling in UNC threes, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to the Jumpman, shout out to Jordan. And they also, they also gave my good friend Cousteau a pair of college PE threes. They gave him the Georgetown threes. So in case you don't believe me, you gotta believe Jacques, cause he's an OG in the game. And he is just, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you know what I'm saying? He like, it's Cousteau, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, of course you gotta believe him. These will be in my collection until the day I die. I promise you that these will never, ever, ever, ever leave my collection. And if this is the last shoe Jordan Brand sends me, I'm leaving on a happy note because these shoes are absolutely beautiful. Oh God. I love these, man. I freaking love these. Like, what do I need to tell you guys, man? Just look at that logo, you know what I'm saying? Just look at that logo. I mean, honestly, it's not even a crazy colorway. It's super, super plain. It's like, basically, if I covered up all the baby blue, it would look like a true blue three. But the only difference is, they added that powder UNC baby blue right there, on the tongue, on the little lace holes right there. That elephant print pops out at you. Fire absolutely fire but yeah man i've actually been buying some shoes on the low i haven't really been buying too many shoes but i have been buying a few pairs and there's one pair that i recently picked up and i, I woke up early on sneakers app to buy it i thought it was going to sell out it didn't sell out and i'm still super in love with them but the only problem is it's one of those shoes where it looks super dope in pictures and in hand but as soon as you put it on your feet it's it's an l but we'll talk about that in another video. Other than that, guys, you know I haven't really been uploading too much. My house is literally a mess because I've had so many people over over the last few days. Things are finally getting into place with my life and what I want to do with the future of this channel. Like I said, I'm going to be working a lot with SneakerCon, and that kind of gives you a hint of what's going to be happening in the near future with SneakerCon and myself. And again, I know I keep promoting this. This sounds like it's a whole promotion since the beginning, but I promise you guys, I'm not promoting something unless I really believe in it. And that is the sneaker 
sneaker con app so please guys go download the sneaker con app it would really mean the world to me oh i guess i could show you guys some of the vans i picked up over the last few days because i have been wearing these a lot just got these bro tell me these are not fire even though this is kind of like off-white inspired people thought it was a virgil collab when it's really just vans kind of taking that off-white deconstructive vibe and adding it to their shoe i think it was a little much that they put the off the wall in quotations on the lace like that they should have left that off but it is what it is you know what i'm saying i think they're dope all right guys so i'm out of here i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it wasn't super super long it wasn't super amazing it wasn't the it was a little different than the usual sneaker con vlogs but we here we out we in we up we're going we're doing things and uh that's the end of the vlog peace no we don't do that all right i'm out